Dan, and I am an, and I am an AI uh, research consultant on ASNET, as my uh, colleague Tani has mentioned. Uh, so uh, today is the first session of the basic series uh, uh, provided or delivered by ASTED. Uh, and uh, in this presentation, we will uh, have time to introduce ASNET to you and to talk about the high performance uh, computing. Um, so uh, the goal or uh, the main objective of this uh, session is to uh, uh, understand what is ASNET and what are uh, the services that we provide inside ASNET, and also we will go. Um, we want you to uh, be able at the end to define what is uh, meant by uh, advanced research computing clusters, nodes, uh, uh, GPUs, CPUs, and uh, uh, some uh, related uh, terms. Um, so. The first thing I want to talk about is ASNET, which is uh, our organization. So ASNET is an Atlantic Canadian uh, not-for-profit organization that provides uh, different services to uh, the community of researchers in academia, uh, government, industry, uh, and the industry with uh, access to um, uh, access to uh, a big uh, or a huge infrastructure. Uh, uh, and uh, we provide uh, ex our expertise as a consultant to the researchers. We support uh, researchers and we offer also training uh, for digital research tools. So ASTED uh, provides access to thousands of uh, CPUs, uh, GPUs, and petabytes of uh, storage. We have a local uh, uh, support team uh, 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 that is uh, um, that has expertise in different domains and with the advanced degrees uh, that we uh, put into uh, uh, disposition of, uh, for the for the for the researchers in our uh, area and nationally as well. Um, we have a local uh, skill uh, skills development. Uh, 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 we provide uh, lock, uh, we provide training for uh, different levels from novice to advanced uh, uh, to advanced, and uh, we are the regional partner of the of the Digital uh, Research Alliance of Canada that is responsible for digital research infrastructure nationally. Um, so if you use our infrastructure, uh, your uh, you uh, can transfer your data sets or your data to our uh, uh, file systems and uh, your data is in, uh, 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 remains in Canada and you will benefit from a lot of, lot of other uh, benefits. So all our services are free of charge uh, for, ac for academic researchers and, uh, um, and uh, industry collaborations. So uh, ASNET also uh, represents uh, the Atlantic uh, provinces nationally uh, by, um, uh, by uh, accelerating the research and also uh, uh, the innovation in the, in, in the area. So uh, ASNET have uh, institutional partners all around uh, the Atlantic uh, uh, region of Canada. So we are we have members in different universities or staff members in different new universities, including, for example, uh, me. I'm based at uh, I'm hosted by University of Moncton. Uh, we have other uh, consultants who are based in UNB, in Memorial University, uh, in uh, Acadia University, and others. And we also have uh, a couple of uh, consultants. Uh, uh, based at uh, Dalhousie. Uh, so you uh, don't need to be at one of these institutions to have an account uh, with uh, ASNET. We have staff members at many of the, the institutions uh, uh, in the region. Um, uh, so if you need any assistance or if you need a one-on-one -on -one meeting, you can uh, reach out uh, to one of them and ask your uh, questions and provide, uh, uh, ask if you have questions, you can ask them or um, uh, and then they will they, uh, our team uh, members will will uh, assist you. So uh, as I uh, mentioned, uh, we are the regional partner of Digital Alli uh, Research Alliance of Canada. So uh, this is a 
Um, so uh, regional organizations like uh, similar to ACENET have existed across Canada since uh, 2004. Um, uh, from 2010 to 2022, they partnered together under the, the national umbrella of Compute Canada to provide advanced research computing, uh, also known as uh, ARC uh, or ARC. So this was replaced by the Digital Research Alliance of Canada, uh, also known as uh, the Alliance in April 2022, with uh, a mandate that includes research data management and uh, research uh, software. So um, under the, the, the national umbrella, ACENET is one of uh, the regional partners. So there is also Calcul Quebec, uh, Compute Ontario, BC uh, DRI group, and uh, Prairie uh, DRI uh, group. So if you are in Atlantic group, you are not restricted to resources uh, just in Atlantic Canada, but you will um, you will also have access to nation nationwide uh, uh, resources. You will uh, work with uh, someone uh, at ACENET one on one, uh, while we work and collaborate with others across uh, Canada to provide access. So uh, ACENET is the uh, alliance, as I mentioned, the, the alliance's regional partner in uh, Atlantic Canada. So it works to uh, allocate uh, funding uh, dollars effectively, uh, provide uh, researchers with access to uh, resources nationally, and uh, it gives the research uh, community a voice on the national uh, forum. So ACENET um, um, can help you on different levels. Uh, our uh, three main uh, uh, levels are the uh, infrastructure that we provide access to uh, 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 when, uh, for example, if you, if you have an account with ACENET or with the Alliance, you can have access to huge uh, infrastructure that is, provide, that, that is uh, composed of high performance uh, uh, clusters, uh, 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 GPU computing. Uh, you uh, also can uh, benefit from uh, cloud services that we provide, and we have an extensive range of uh, software uh, that are pre-installed uh, uh, that you can uh, also load and use uh, easily on our uh, infrastructure on our systems. We uh, also have, uh, in terms of infrastructure, we have a Globus, which is a high-speed, um, high-speed and secure portal for sharing terabytes of data. If you have huge uh, or a big uh, uh, data sets that you want to move from your computer to uh, one of our clusters, we have this efficient and uh, uh, powerful uh, solution. Uh, we also offer secure and uh, reliable data storage and uh, backup systems that you can uh, benefit from uh, for your uh, projects. Uh, the second, uh, the second main activity for uh, for ASNET is uh, the support that we provide to the researchers. We can assist you to determine uh, the resources you will need for your project. We can uh, help you with uh, software optim optimization and troubleshooting, uh, uh, and we can assist you in uh, different levels from uh, um, troubleshooting to um, to uh, providing some uh, good practices uh, for your uh, specific projects. We have specialists in different domains from uh, computational fluid dynamics to humanities and social sciences, machine learning and deep learning. We have molecular dynamics and many other uh, uh, specialists, uh, specializations. Um, we also have um, a program called Embedded Technical Support uh, Program. That is uh, a competition-based uh, program. If you have a specific project, you can uh, submit your application and uh, uh, we can review it and uh, provide, or uh, we can uh, um, uh, find one of our, our consultants who can dedicate a specific amount of time working uh, with you on, this, on your uh, project. So, uh, the third uh, services that we provide, uh, which is, which takes a big part of our uh, mandate, is training. 
So we have we do a lot of lot of uh, training sessions for, for groups and also for individuals. Uh, we uh, also uh, uh, provide sessions for novice uh, and for uh, um, intermediate and advanced groups. Uh, we have uh, we can offer a standard and also customized sessions, and uh, we uh, can provide also uh, uh, workshops uh, for software and data carpentry. Um, the uh, data carpentry. So if you would like a specialized training we have a form you can uh, submit to us um, if uh, we see a demand uh, for this we can uh, look at uh, providing a workshop uh, we have our uh, training coordinator that can uh, uh, organize uh, this uh, for you so to hear about uh, training opportunities uh, if you sign up for an ASNET account uh, you will uh, get the ASNET newsletter uh, unless uh, you uh, opt out from this. Um, we also try to advertise via uh, campus uh, listservs uh, uh, and billboards, but you can uh, uh, visit our website uh, at asnet.ca slash training to see uh, all of our uh, upcoming uh, workshops. So now, uh, uh, our core uh, uh, competency is uh, uh, is uh, uh, supercomputing or advanced computing. So advanced computing covers a variety of uh, uh, of concepts, uh, many of which are uh, interrelated. Uh, for example, uh, AI, um, uh, artificial intelligence. If you do uh, machine learning or, or deep learning, if you deal with large uh, or uh, big data sets to do. Uh, uh, data mining or data analytics, you will need access to this kind of infrastructures. Uh, 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 you will need uh, high performance computing, graphical uh, processing units to do your calculations, uh, uh, and you will need uh, also large storage to, uh, to, to, uh, to store your data sets. Uh, we also provide uh, uh, cloud uh, systems, uh, access to cloud uh, uh, infrastructure. Uh, so if you uh, need to host a wiki page or a, a, a web page, uh, you can have access to this. So if you need any of the, these uh, things, uh, we uh, can help you with this. You have just to reach out to us and then we'll find out how uh, uh, how we can satisfy your uh, the needs your needs. So um, So high performance computing, as I mentioned, is uh, our core competency. Um, um, uh, um, it's also now high, uh, high performance computing, also known as supercomputing, and uh, it is a technology that involves uh, many CPUs working on a single pro problem. For example, uh, uh, many uh, single uh, uh, CPU jobs running at once, or uh, many uh, computer cores working in synchronization to uh, solve uh, the problem. So the key uh, here is the communication, as CPUs uh, will need to share uh, information to uh, solve uh, this uh, specific problem. So, um, um, so uh, on your uh, own uh, computer or desktop, you can run one to two jobs, but with uh, our resources or uh, with high performance computing systems, you can uh, run hundreds or uh, thousands of uh, jobs at once, which makes uh, things uh, uh, faster uh, to get results, uh, or um, which means, which means that you can get faster uh, results, and you can work on larger problems uh, 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 for uh, uh, and and uh, save uh, save time. Um, uh, the principal uh, tool uh, for HPC is a computing uh, uh, cluster. The cluster uh, is something that will. Um, We'll um, we'll talk about in the in the next slides. So a cluster is something that looks like this. This is a part of uh, the Cedar uh, cluster. Um, uh, we have here a link if you want to have a look at the uh, a video that shows the unboxing of uh, this uh, supercomputer. It's a huge uh, computer that takes uh, a big room uh, room um, uh, with different components. Um, so this is uh, what a uh, cluster looks like. Um, it's two meter, meter high rack uh, of boxes. Each box is a computer 
um, they are not much uh, different than your own desktops, um, but uh, it may have like 500 gigabytes of RAM, uh, but other than that, it's pretty similar to a regular computer. Um, so these computers that you see in the picture, in the image, uh, are all connected by network cables. So um, this is, as I mentioned, this part of Cedar cluster that is uh, uh, that is uh, located at uh, Simon Fraser University in uh, in British Columbia. So in the next uh, few slides, we will uh, will explain how uh, a cluster works. So uh, a cluster is um, is just um, a stack of individual uh, and not a very special computers all connected together uh, 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 with uh, um, uh, uh, all connected together with cables and uh, only one or uh, two nodes are uh, normally connected to the outside world uh, uh, and we call this, these nodes uh, login nodes. Um, so the, the network storage is uh, uh, usually attached so that things like uh, home directories look, look the same from uh, every host. And uh, uh, um, whenever you when you you log in for the for, to to the cluster, you will land into the in the in the login node uh, from where you can uh, upload your data via uh, 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 your data using one of the command lines command lines that you will uh, you will uh, explore in the next I think in tomorrow's session uh, in the introduction to uh, Linux. Um, so. If, from from the login node, you can set up your virtual environment, install the package packages you will need, uh, load the, the modules, and do all the work that you need before you launch, uh, you you submit your job. And uh, here we we use in our um, in our infrastructure we use what we call we call it uh, uh, dynamic uh, resource manager. Uh, informally, most people call it scheduler. So the scheduler software is um, uh, um, uh, in use at the Alliance uh, is spe specifically Slurm. So um, when you submit when you submit a job to, to Slurm, Slurm uh, tracks what uh, resources are available with how many CPUs and memory is available and uh, what uh, uh, jobs are uh, running and which ones are uh, uh, waiting to, to, to run. So this uh, will be uh, discussed more in depth. Uh, in the, uh, we'll discuss more in depth uh, on I think Friday for the uh, in the session of uh, intro, in the session of introduction to um, uh, uh, job scheduling with, uh, with Slurm. So I invite you all to uh, to sign up for this session if you uh, didn't do already. Already, uh, it's a very important uh, uh, session that will show you how to uh, uh, use. Uh, or some good practice, best practices to use uh, Slurm and how you can submit your jobs on uh, our clusters. Um, so, um, um, so once once your job is, is submitted, the scheduler will check the availability of the resources you 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 requested, and uh, once uh, the the resources are available, your job will 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 run. And once uh, the job is completed, you will get a notification, or a notification can be uh, sent to 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 the user to uh, advise uh, advise them that the the job is completed. So um, here we have. Um, as uh, I, I, I've talked about the the, the 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 storage or the network storage that is attached to to uh, the nodes, uh, we have three types of uh, storage. Um, we have home directory, uh, we have project directory, which is uh, a permanent uh, uh, storage, and we have scratch, which is uh, a temporary uh, data uh, storage. So um, Alliance provides. Uh, 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 access to uh, four general purpose clusters, uh, which are uh, Beluga, Cedar, Graham, and Marvel. So Beluga is um, uh, uh, hosted, in, Beluga and Marvel are hosted in uh, 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 Montreal, Quebec. Uh, Cedar is in Burnaby in British Columbia, and uh, Graham uh, is located uh, uh, in uh, uh, Waterloo, uh, Ontario. So uh, 
in total, these uh, clusters have uh, uh, have a total of uh, 265,000 CPU cores, uh, uh, 1,300 terabytes of RAM, uh, 100 uh, petabytes disk storage, and 3,200 uh, GPUs. So each user has, uh, as I mentioned, access to home storage project and uh, scratch uh, directories. Um, we uh, also provide uh, users with uh, uh, a tape uh, storage, uh, 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 also known as uh, nearline storage or nearly connect uh, online storage. Uh, and we uh, also provide a large library of uh, supported software um, that you can um, uh, request and use uh, uh, on your uh, uh, on your um, uh, um, on, on our uh, uh, systems. So uh, all our all the clusters are uh, shared uh, shared resources with over uh, 20 uh, 20 uh, thousand uh, user accounts. So 25% uh, of these accounts are uh, uh, for PIs. Uh, RPIs uh, and 75 are grads, uh, grad students and uh, postdocs. Also, the Alliance provides uh, um, special purpose clusters. Uh, one of them is MyGara, which is designed for large uh, parallel jobs. Uh, here I talk about uh, jobs that requires that require more than 1,000 core, uh, cores uh, and up to eight, uh, 80 uh, uh, thousand uh, uh, cores. We have also Arbitus, which is a, a cloud uh, resource, um, and you can uh, prof uh, or you can uh, uh, request uh, or uh, you can take um, you can use uh, Arbitus for different uh, purposes uh, from hosting a portal uh, to uh, uh, to uh, also uh, using it for persistent persistent web services and also uh, to host your wiki uh, pages uh tanya do, do you do you hear any uh, noise on my end no all okay. good sounds good so uh, once uh, or twice a year, uh, the Niagara uh, site uh, uh, announces uh, the Niagara at scale uh, event when you can run a really big uh, uh, job on, on the whole uh, system. So uh, we also, uh, or Alliance also provides access to cloud computing. So when we uh, uh, we talk about cloud computing, we talk about a technology that allows you to use someone uh, someone else's computer uh, as if it was uh, your own. So at the Alliance, this means that you uh, you will be responsible for managing uh, um, uh, for managing the. The, the virtual machines that you will have access to uh, with um, uh, administrative privileges, uh, which means that you uh, you will you can install software, uh, add user accounts, and customize uh, many uh, aspects. Um, uh, so um, the the advantage here is that you have a complete control over the collection of the installed software um, or uh, the software stack. But the, the, the disadvantage is that you must uh, have some degree of experience in installing software and uh, otherwise uh, uh, managing um, a computer. So uh, cloud uh, computing uh, 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 solution ca can be useful for uh, uh, ty typical uh, uh, applications like web servers or web Sites, portal, or uh, that databases that uh, you want to have access to uh, in a permanent way. Um, uh, so, uh, when I say that you are responsible for managing these things, I mean by that that you you will uh, need some uh, uh, to have some experience uh, with uh, uh, dealing with um, um, virtual uh, machines. Um, installing uh, the the softwares and doing uh, the, all the, the the things that you will need to do with the machine, but we can we can of course uh, uh, assist you, but uh, only so much. Um, like a lot of the the heavy heavy lifting is uh, will be on you. Um, so the key in the cloud computing is um, is virtual machines. So virtual machines is, uh, or a virtual machine is um, 
simulated computer on which you can run programs or on just like a, a real machine. So um, cloud computing makes use of machine, uh, virtual machines to allow uh, virtual virtualized hardware configurations, which uh, are different uh, to the to the physical uh, machine running the code. Uh, uh, it also allows multiple inst uh, creating multiple instances on uh, a single machine. And to, uh, it allows the automated uh, uh, doing automated uh, uh, creation and deletion of virtual uh, hardware. Um, um, so on on your on your uh, physical machine, you can have several virtual machines with uh, with their own uh, operating systems, uh, each uh, simulating uh, as a computer, and uh, uh, you can uh, you can. Um, um, upscale and downscale depending on your uh, needs and depending on uh, 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 what your uh, project uh, requires. So um, if you think you have use case for cloud computing, you can uh, speak to one of us, uh, one of our uh, consultants, and we uh, uh, can figure out if your uh, project can be achieved in the cloud or with one of our uh, HPC systems. So the cloud could be uh, the the best uh, tool for for your project, depending on uh, the requirements that you have. So uh, typical uh, use cases are, for example, if you need always available computing, uh, such as web servers, as I mentioned, or a dedicated uh, database uh, servers. You can also uh, you uh, might also need a cloud. Uh, cloud uh, uh, services if you need specialized software which cannot uh, run on uh, our HPC systems. But for most of uh, uh, all the other cases, our high performance computing clusters are the best solutions uh, since the, the alliance or uh, since the alliance manages more of the system um, uh, which simplifies setup and uh, usage of uh, uh, for you. So uh, the, at the Alliance, we uh, maintain uh, our own stack of pre-installed software that you can load uh, uh, on your on our HPC systems to do uh, your work. So um, uh, I invite you to check the list uh, uh, on the link here. Uh, you click on the link and uh, you can uh, uh, use the, the search uh, function, uh, control F, for example, to use uh, keywords and uh, find what you're looking for. We have uh, a, a large uh, uh, a large uh, list of uh, software that are already there, um, pre-installed. You can uh, easily use them uh, by installing, or by uh, uh, creating your virtual environment and then uh, loading them and uh, uh, using uh, use them easily. So software that is not on that list may, uh, may be added if certain criteria are met. Um, so you reach out to us uh, or email ASNET uh, consultant, an ASNET consultant uh, to see if uh, what is what is uh, required, and we will uh, uh, we will do our um, will uh, do the thing for you and let you know if it's possible doable to install the the, the software or not. So um, we have uh, applications uh, for different disciplines and uh, specific disciplines. For example, for molecular dynamics, we have uh, Gaussian, we have Gamess, Gromax. Uh, we have for machine learning and deep learning, we have TensorFlow, PyTorch, and uh, uh, Scikit-Learn. Uh, for engineering, we have uh, um, uh, OpenFOAM, uh, Fluent, ANSYS, and uh, we have, uh, you can check the full list uh, uh, in the link uh, uh, um, in, uh, that you can see on the, that you see on the, in, in this slide. So. If you want to uh, submit a request for a software, uh, reach out to uh, support at uh, uh, tech.alliancecan.ca. And uh, we have sub some soft, uh, commercial so software, but uh, licensing, licensing restrictions uh, may uh, apply for this. Um, so for data analysis and visualization, we have um, different uh, applications for MATLAB, R, 
we have for uh, Python like uh, NumPy, uh, uh, SciPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and uh, Paraview. So uh, we have a big list of of the of softwares. I really invite you to check the list and see if there is uh, uh, there is uh, if uh, the software you want to use is there. If not, uh, uh, yeah, you can uh, reach out to us and then we will figure out if we can uh, have it in our uh, systems or not. So for software development, we have different languages. Uh, uh, programming languages, we have compilers, we have uh, uh, APIs and libraries uh, uh, and to, uh, different uh, tools. Uh, so the list on uh, wikis are automatically generated and uh, updated. So um, running uh, pre-installed uh, software, we, as I mentioned, uh, an annotated list of software inst are installed on our uh, general purpose class clusters, and you can uh, found, uh, find them at uh, docs.alliancecan.ca uh, 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 slash wiki slash available uh, software. Uh, you need also, you, you will need also to, to load environment modules to use, uh, to use them. Uh, uh, you, uh, you can check that as well uh, uh, on the uh, by by uh, navigating to the the link docs.alliancecan.ca/wiki/slash uh, using uh, modules. We have a lot of documentation, a lot of uh, 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 materials that can assist you uh, preparing your uh, virtual environment, installing the packages, and uh, loading the, the the modules. So to get an with the alliance, um, the, it's it's an easy process. Um, you uh, the, the principal investigator must uh, register first uh, by navigating to the website ccdb.alliancecan.ca, and then uh, they uh, must register first, and then they can uh, begin sponsoring accounts for uh, others like graduate students, uh, external collaborators, uh, or uh, postdoctoral researchers. So we don't allow users to share passwords. So anyone who um, who needs access to our system must register for a, a sponsored uh, account. And um, as we mentioned earlier, we um, we use uh, different uh, uh, ways for uh, transferring files to and from the clusters. One uh, of the, the 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 ways is well, one of the ways is Globus, which is um, uh, the most performant or the most powerful way to transfer your data from your uh, uh, your com local computer to our clusters and vice versa. So uh, we have other tools like uh, SCP. The SFTP, uh, our sync, uh, and they all uh, work on uh, our clusters. So, um, um, even though we are not, we are now uh, a part of the Digital Research Alliance of Canada. You may still uh, see Compute uh, Canada in the in some places uh, for uh, historical uh, uh, reasons. So, to access Globus, you you can visit the website Globus Globus. But uh, alliance can dot ca and um, log in uh, in log in with your uh, your alliance credentials. Uh, you can use the file uh, manager to move uh, data between uh, clusters. And if you want uh, uh, to uh, move your uh, data from your local computer to the cluster, you will have to install Globus uh, Connect uh, Connect uh, Personal. Uh, and activate um, uh, activate an end endpoint, uh, uh, then use it to upload um, uh, and download files and data sets from your local machine local machine to uh, one of the clusters. So some data sets are uh, available via uh, Globus for uh, easy access and uh, transfer. So um, for the next sessions uh, uh, for um, the introduction to Linux, uh, introduction to shell scripting, and also introduction to job scheduling with the with the uh, Slurm. Uh, you will uh, need to do some uh, setup. Uh, you will need to do some uh, setup on your own machines. So if you are uh, uh, 
you're a Windows user, you will have to download and install Mobile Xterm, uh, that, uh, which is a software that will allow you to connect to the clusters and also uh, use uh, use it as a file explorer uh, uh, for your uh, for the files that you have in your computer that you want to move to to the cluster as well. Um, uh, if you are uh, also, you can uh, install WinSCP. Uh, but uh, Mobile Xterm has uh, has like um, when SCP is used usually to transfer the data, but Mobile Xterm has SFTP built in, so uh, this uh, SFTP client is uh, uh, optional. Uh, you can um, um, uh, you can all uh, use only uh, Mobile Xterm that will do the work for you. For Mac uh, OS uh, users, um, uh, download and install Cyber uh, back, uh, if you want. Uh, to attend the 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 coming uh, the upcoming sessions, and for Linux you don't need to do anything. You everything you need is uh, already there uh, for you. So um, please, uh, I invite you to uh, sign up for this for the the upcoming sessions. They are very important for you if you want to uh, uh, to use our clusters for your projects. Uh, you will learn a lot of uh, best practices. You will learn a lot of techniques uh, from uh, uploading and downloading uh, data to the uh, your um, uh, data to the uh, clusters, uh, uh, and also to um, submit jobs, create virtual environment, installing packages, loading the modules, and uh, troubleshooting uh, your code using uh, 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 other uh, tools. Um, so please. Um, um, Feel free to sign up today and uh, attend the the, the the upcoming sessions uh, uh, that are uh, that will take place uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, after tomorrow and Friday. So um, there are many uh, place places you can go for uh, for assistance. So the Alliance and ACENet wiki pages are a good start. We have a lot of documentation there and a lot of uh, uh, support materials that you can use uh, to start using, uh, that you can use to start uh, uh, get started on uh, our uh, clusters. You can also email uh, support uh, uh, by using the, uh, the email addresses support at uh, tech.alliancecan.ca uh, or support at uh, acenet.ca. Uh, please supply as much uh, info as possible. The more uh, information you provide, the easiest uh, 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 the, the task become uh, for us. So uh, give us the, the, like uh, as much information as, as you have uh, um, and describe your uh, the problem that you're facing and th because this will help us uh, provide concise uh, uh, answers to your uh, um, to your questions and problems. So for more uh, information on support, you can find that at uh, uh, docs.alliance.ca slash wiki slash technical uh, support. That's the end of uh, this presentation. Um, and uh, thank you so much. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, put them into the chat or turn on your microphone and uh, you're welcome to, to ask um, your questions. Thank you. Thank you, Adnan, for that great session. And thank you, everyone, for taking part of this training session. If you have any questions, just fire in the chat, or you can raise your hand, like Adnan says, and you can use your mic if you want to. And also, a special thanks to our helper, Yasher. I just want to say that can you for you to please take a moment to fill out the feedback form that is going to be available after the Zoom session link in the learning portal. Feedback is very important. Um, for us as we use them to determine what training we're gonna offer in the future. Uh, you can also see some of our upcoming training sessions in the link that I'll share in the chat right now. And like uh, Adana was mentioning, this week we're also offering the rest of our ASNET basics sessions. So for tomorrow, we have the introduction to Linux command line. Uh, for Thursday, we have introduction to shell scripting. And on Friday, we have the job scheduling with Storm. So I encourage everyone to register and attend the sessions. So yeah, let us know in the chat if you have any questions. And thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jeff. See you tomorrow.
Okay, I'll stop the recording now.